Hello, in this module, we will continue discussing measures of central redundancy. But our major focus is going to be towards their application. That when we should use these measures of central redundancy appropriately. So, since we already know that they are, our distributions can be of three different shapes, they can be negatively skewed, they can be symmetric, and they can be positively skewed. Since we already know that in the symmetric distribution, our right tail is the mirror image of our left tail. Therefore, in a symmetric distribution, mean, median, and mod, all three are equal. But we do know that there is one property of arithmetic mean that mean tends to move towards the extreme values and those extreme values could be in positives or they could be in negatives as we see in the positively skewed data there are few values which are away from the most frequent value and since there is a frequency on the y axis in all three frequency curves we can see that the wherever the peak comes these values are going to be the mod. But due to these values on the tails, mean gets effective, affected and mean actually trans moves towards these values. Hence, this is the mean. And over here, mean will go here and it, sh it will shift towards left due to these values. Here, mean will shift towards right due to these values. Whereas we know that median is something that is not getting affected by the extreme observations. It only considers the index of the values to determine the center. It does not take account of each and every value or the magnitude of the value in the data. Therefore, median is least affected by this. Hence, a central observation is median. So therefore we can say that in positively skewed data, mean is greater than median and they both are greater than mod. And in negatively skewed data, mean, mean is less than median and they both are less than, less than mod. The appropriateness of these measures of central tendency also depends upon the type of the variable which we are dealing with. Since we know that there are two major types of variable which are qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative variables can be nominal and they can be ordinal. Whereas the quantitative variable will be int measured on interval or ratio scale. So, if our variable is a, is a categorical variable that's qualitative variable and it's measured on a nominal scale, then the best measure of central tendency would be mod. For a qualitative variable that's measured on an ordinal scale, the best measure of central tendency will be mod, but we can also calculate median in that situation since we are dealing with the ordered array. For the quantitative data, Firstly, we look at the shape of the data. If the shape of the data is skewed, it doesn't matter if it is right skewed or left skewed, if it's positively skewed or negatively skewed. The mod can be used, but the best measure of central tendency will always be median. But if the data is symmetric, though we can use all three, mean, median, and mod, but generally, mean is preferred because this is one of the most commonly used measure of central tendency. It's easy to understand. That's why we always, for quantitative variables, which are symmetric, we always report and prefer arithmetic mean. When typically reporting our data, for qualitative variable, we report number of observations along with the percentages. We tend not to calculate other 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 measures of central tendency 
but for quantitative data, depending upon the shape, for skewed data, median is preferred, and for symmetric data, mean is preferred. Thank you.